When you're quiet, it's a gift to yourself and a gift to other people, too, especially here at the monastery. We want to respect one another's peace and quiet, because there's so little of that in the world. The basic rule in the monastery is something is necessary to talk about it, you talk about it, otherwise you just leave it be. Because you don't know when you're speaking to somebody you may be interfering with some point that they're trying to understand in their meditation, or they're trying to observe something as they're working, as they're going through the day. So you don't want to interfere with that. This is one of the ways in which admirable friendship is actually help. We give some space to one another, but we're there when other people need us. And especially in our modern society, this is such a gift because everybody else is trying to get in your face and get your idea, get their ideas in your head as much as possible. They don't give you any time to breathe, to think for yourself. A speech gets put on the. TV, and within, while the speech is being given, the commentators are already talking about it. There's no time to contemplate. So allow one another time to contemplate here. This is our, one of our gifts to the world. Sometimes people accuse the monastery of being just there for itself. It's not. I mean, with, our doors are open. We provide a place of quiet, a place of rest, where everybody can have a chance to and space to contemplate things to try to respect that from one another, for one another. And you find that this quality of admirable friendship really is a help, really does help to speed your practice along. If you're looking at other people, see things you don't like, well, remind yourself, okay, that's their karma. And then you have to turn around and look at yourself. Do you have those qualities within yourself? Learn how to reflect on your own actions. Sometimes it's very easy to see somebody else's faults, and it's very hard to see the same faults in yourself. So this is one of the reasons we have to have time to stop and contemplate, because that's an area where we tend not to look, is at our own actions. But this is what the teaching is all about. You've got to learn how to watch yourself in action. And step back from what your ordinary opinions might be and ask yourself, well, what, what if those opinions are wrong? You see these qualities in other people, if you see them, then you know if you have them in yourself, then you've got something you've got to work on. If it doesn't look good in other people, it's not going to look good in you either. So that's another way in which having friends around is going to be really helpful. Not that they're perfect, and I don't know of any place in the world where there's a perfect meditation community. It's up to you to learn from the imperfections, both around you and within yourself.